Hi Libra, welcome to Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. This is your reading for June. Um, I'm going to announce the winner of the 6-6 six, six free reading today. But if you'd like to enter to win a free reading on 7-7, seven, seven, you can put free reading in the comments of any poster video from now until then. You can also join my Patreon for free for a week, $5.55 a month after that. And there's just some extra videos over there. I post like two or three times a month. So five bucks a month for some extra videos is cool. And then you can book a personal with me on my Etsy. It's all below. There's a yoga channel. Also, all that stuff. It's all there. Um, anyway, welcome to my reading for you for June. Let's go. <laughs> Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energy back to sender transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please bring clear, concise messages through for my Libra collective. And Mother Mary, please bless this reading with compassion. Kali, also, please um, cut any cords to past selves, past karmic interactions, past karma that no longer serves us, and send those energies and beings on to where they can complete their karma outside of the realm of our dharma here. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. All right. Amen, amen. So mode it be. Let's go. That was nice. That was really nice. The sound bowl healing, um, to open this is a little sound bowl and it's very sensitive to temperature um but it was just super like warm and resonant i don't know um i also was noticing the sticker that says flower child that was gifted to me so you might have like a hippie friend in your life or you might be like kind of a hippie um <laughs> in like the best way also sunflowers might be significant to you Sunflowers are beautiful. I love them. They're nurturing. Um, I think you can grill the whole head of a sunflower. Look it up. I'm, you know, make sure. But I think you can grill the whole thing. And then sunflower seeds, of course, are just delicious. Okay, we got a card for you. Ooh, the giveaway. Okay. This makes sense to me. So we called on Kali at the beginning of the reading to... Um, let go of any karma or past energies that are not helping your birthday might be the 5th of october the 2nd or the 3rd um and the giveaway talks about what it is that we let go of in order to gain knowledge so i feel like you've really had a lot to release and this month is about like seeing that exchange of energy we called on Kali to help us like cut cords to people places things energies entities um 331 on the timer to send it send them to where they need to go so let's talk about this the giveaway is the gift you offer to life without attachment without expecting anything back you can only give what is truly yours a smile a nod of encouragement a gentle touch, a kind word. This is not giving to others what you no longer want, like the sweater that no longer fits, but gifting that which is most precious, your authentic love and genuine feelings. The invitation of this card is to make a list of 10 people and things for which you are grateful. Connect with the feeling of gratitude. The giveaway comes to ask you to feel the same gratitude without needing anything or anyone to inspire it and to share this gratitude with those you meet. As you offer thanks, your heart opens and you start really realizing how much life has given you. You heal your feelings of scarcity and open yourself to the abundance that surrounds you. The giveaway invites you to be in the flow of life as you give freely and receive freely. Interesting. So I think I was reading this card as the sacrifice, which is not the same thing. So you might currently look at like giving of yourself to others in an authentic way as kind of like a sacrifice. Maybe you're just, you like your peace 
and your time alone and your time in your own space. Um, because we were doing like some cord cutting at the beginning of this reading specifically to like energetic entities. So like, um, spirits is what I was hearing, like, or what I was thinking when we opened. And this is talking about how you have a gift to offer in being your authentic self. And I feel, I just, I have this feeling you're kind of like, maybe you're an academic who you'd rather study at home or stay home, or maybe you're like Merlin and you have some sort of magical manifesting gifts, or maybe your gift is just like your literal winning personality. I have like a, a fortune cookie that says your, your gift is your winning personality. And it was my son's because he, he does have a winning personality. <laughs> He's awesome. So maybe you're just like the kind of person that lights up a room and um, the shadow side of this card is like, are you giving away too much of yourself? So that may have been an issue for you in the past. I'm actually not being drawn to use the light seers tarot. At least not yet. Um, I'm going to use the Art Nouveau. This is really interesting. I was reaching for this and then um, the top of this the deck from the, t or the, t the card from the top of this deck wanted to come out. This is the um, past life deck. It talks about karma from past lives. It says magic based faith, non possessive love, adult female was your identity, time frame around the Neolithic Revolution. So, like Merlin, overcoming loss is the lesson, drowning was the death in North America. The other side says out of body experience, near death experience, between lives, post life review with astral experiences. So you might be like a highly spiritual person. And you may have been initiated into your spirituality through some form of like major loss. Um, but your faith, whoever I'm talking to, is certainly one that's like magic based or. In, involves or includes like astral experiences, out of body experiences. <clears throat> you may be the kind of person who um, connects in love in non committal ways. And not necessarily from a fear of commitment, but more from like a, a, an understanding that love is not supposed to be possessive or at least a high expression or a higher expression of love is a non-possessive love. Let's see. Um, let's talk about for your finances for June. And this is just your overall energies. The Knight of Wands reverse. Okay. So in your finances for June, we have the Knight of Wands reverse, the Page of Pentacles reverse, and the Hangman. Um, you, <laughs> you maybe had a lot of fun um, and you're needing to balance out your finances a little bit. I don't know. I feel like you have all the information that you need and all the knowledge that you need with the page of pentacles reverse to be able to like stabilize. Um, but that's it. Like you're stable and you don't feel like you can progress in your finances with where you're currently at. Um, I, are you trying to? Yeah. Three of wands enterprise. Um, the three of wands can talk to me about entrepreneurship there's these ships coming in, right? They're carrying goods. So you could be like a, like drop into drop shipping. You could, um, sell something tangible to others, or you could be waiting on a product, waiting on product to sell. Um, and Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah. It can mean that you've sort of been a bit like, Either, you, either you've been sort of tapped out or maxed out, like maybe you maxed out a credit card, like having fun or something, and you're like waiting for this product to come, to come in to be able to like move it so that you can um, have a little bit more to work with. So that's your financial situation here. What, do, what does Libra need to know about this situation in June?
beware of any like drama um this june around your finances if you're dealing with somebody for instance like say you're an entrepreneur and you're selling to somebody whatever it is that you um create there might be somebody who like thinks they know better or you might be dealing with a customer for instance who's like the customer is always right and you're like uh, you're not in this situation though um actually I don't operate like that. That's not okay. I operate from a, a space of mutual respect. And if you're going to walk in here and not respect me because you're spending money here, like then take your money and leave. Um, yeah, Th this might be a person who's willing to offer you like a lot of money for something that you want your services that you offer or something. And I'm getting from spirit five of wands, page of swords reverse, that it's going to be a major drain on your energy to engage with this person so should you two of pentacles three of pentacles um i think so i see so avoid any drama okay avoiding any drama in this situation might mean like you know what i'm getting paid <laughs> I'm a master of my craft. I'm good at what I do. So you, if, if this person comes in thinking they know better and they want to like lowball you or something, I'm hearing you can tell them like, look, you're, I'm, I'm a master of what I do. Like you can trust me. Um, you know, like I'm, I'm going to give you an equal or even price. Like this is completely fair. Um, so speak up for yourself, um, and offer them a good price. If you have any like discount opportunities or something that you can offer them, um, I, I am seeing that making them happy um, through fairness and through just explaining, like taking the time to explain to them why your prices are fair or why this is fair business might um, like they'll be receptive to it and it, it'll bring you good business. Queen of Wands you <laughs> your intuition knows exactly how to deal with this situation you might be you might also just be like a very good looking person um you might <laughs> something about your charm and your charisma um allows this situation to blow over smoothly in your workplace still though you may feel a little bit stuck like i think you want to i think you may want to level up the moon there's something you don't see cancer season three of cups <laughs> okay so what i'm hearing with the moon the three of cups you have two pisces cards right next to each other something may have happened around pisces season or you're dealing with a pisces or you have pisces in your chart um you are extremely disciplined in doing things that you don't necessarily want to do especially in the workspace to make sure that things happen the way they need to um and you're really good at taming your sort of duality your light and dark um your your tame dog versus your wild dog right is what this is and there's something coming up out of the water from this little lobster here to be like, yo, <laughs> you're howling too loudly at the moon. It's time for you to look down at the ground. And it has to do with celebration with other people, with your soul tribe. So like, yeah, you might've been kind of isolated. Um, we did have that energy with the giveaway where you, you spend a lot of time in your own space or alone or just doing your own thing especially focusing on work it seems like i pulled a lot of cards for career and i don't usually um or at least i haven't been for the other signs so you you might be so focused in the workspace that you're not you're not actually seeing how how a lack of like letting loose with others is actually i don't know there's something about going and socializing with others 
without thinking about work or like outside of work that's actually going to help you in the workspace. You have 333 three, three here. Okay, well, this is good. I like that the Three of Cups is here because we're going to get into your personal, social, relational stuff for June. And the Three of Cups is all about celebration, um, especially with like-minded people, your soul tribe. Six of Swords reversed, the Devil reversed. And this is in your, like, relationship energies. So, part of the reason that you're just not connecting with other people, especially potentially, like, sexually with the devil here, um, is that it takes away from your ability to think clearly. There might be somebody in your environment who you have kind of, like, a either you do or they do have an obsession um a capricorn maybe or again a pisces and and what the full reverse you're not looking to start anything new at this time you might even like hang out with prefer to hang out with your dogs Pisces again, the High Priestess. Wow. Who's this High Priestess? The Magician Reverse? One, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Somebody... Who's this high priestess? Is this you? Ace of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Cups. Four of Cups reverse. Four of Cups reverse came up in Gemini's reading at the end towards their like divine their divine counterpart. Um, let's see here. I can't I just I don't know. I don't want to say this, but like I feel like this person is manifesting you with the high priestess, and they might be a very powerful intuitive a really powerful seer and you're you are also um neolithic revolution we had out-of-body experience magic-based faith and you may have been experiencing around this person like an inability to manifest uh, it's like something about them being in your energy in some way blocks you especially financially um, Ace of Pentacles reverse. I don't know. There's something here where you're like, I'm not looking to start anything new. Um, the Magician reverse. And the High Priestess. You're also not actively, like, you're not actively manifesting a, a relationship or a connection. Again, you're super focused on work. I get this really subtle like almost not even touching this space um from you like i'm just like you're just like Meh. friends are cool i'm not into the whole like you might like you might be um with the snake around the magician's belt and him being reversed you might be like storing up your kundalini energy like not wanting to sexually connect with a person because that's your manifestation energy like you're trying to manifest something right now and i don't you're engaged potentially in beliefs around sacred sexuality and so you're not really interested in connecting anew with somebody but the high priestess like is the definition of like sacred sexuality right i don't know like at least that's how she comes off to me because she's the dark divine feminine we did call on kali for this reading um and so the high priestess is somebody who like she understands subtle energies she understands like the the rules around she has the torah like in her lap she understands the rules around giving and receiving and she understands the rules around what needs to be like sent through the veil to the land of the dead right um to have strength and establish the foundation of the material reality that's what boaz and yakin are he has strength and he has establishes so this person might actually be like a really um 
supportive counterpart, whether they're a business connection or a love connection or both. I don't they might even if you're okay, so if you're a male Libra I'm speaking to, because there's a lot of male energy over here, and then there's this divine feminine with the high priestess. This is Oh, there's a Queen of Wands over here too, though. Okay, so if you're a male Libra I'm talking to, I feel like this Divine Feminine has, like, her own social life. Like, she's, um, she's got plenty of her own stuff to do. Just like you have plenty of your own stuff to do. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. She's, like, Three of Cups. Like, she's got her, her ladies, her, um, Divine... I almost want to say a harem, but that is not the right word. <laughs> like, it's not the one that's wanting to come through. I just, it's just, she, like, has her people. Um, and if you're a Libra feminine I'm speaking to, I feel like you've had to be in your divine masculine energy to establish your security. and it's difficult for you to decide to be in your divine feminine energy or admit any masculines because you feel more secure um, around your female like friends and with the support of your your feminine like support system that's all i've got to say for that okay death that's interesting you might be resisting a new beginning especially in regards to this high priestess energy um and pisces energy the hangman the moon the high priestess there's something big and subconscious here that comes up to go whack snap like that lobster and it creates this it's not a tower moment it's a transmutation it's a it's a transformation it's a transformation in, I think, your spiritual beliefs. I'm seeing this giveaway card, and I'm seeing this um, priest on the card here in the same, holding up his arms in the same way. Um, it's like, stop. He's like, stop. Like, the king is dead. And there's a woman and child being protected here by like the pope right and i'm hearing as i always do when i see this card death stops for no one time stops for no one i don't know what is this Two of Wands planning the tower. Okay, this is a tower moment. All right. Um, you may have plans or you may want things to be in place in the perfect way, exactly as they're meant to, like before you decide to connect with another person romantically. You don't, of course, have to connect with another person romantically. That's not necessary. And if that's not 2404 on the timer here, though, <laughs> though, um if that's not in your cards that's not in your cards um i'm not seeing the two of cups here you know i'm not seeing the lovers nothing like that what i am seeing is this transformation in how you prioritize what is important about you to bring to the table in regards to other people like when you used to connect with people, it was, it was primarily, it was primarily like work related. Um, and it was very much based around, and I don't mean this from a shallow perspective, looks, it was very much based around looks and like in a good way, like your, your queen of wands energy needed to be uplifted. 
Um, you needed to get in touch with your intuition and know what makes you feel good, smell good, and like be good in your environment and secure. Um, and now it's time to sort of transmute some of that energy into I don't know, you might, you might be psychic and you might be like telling people this month or like that's really showing up for you. You might be entering a coven with the three of cups. You might just be really opening up about your, um, I'm hearing like intense spirituality this month. And it, oh. It might like, if you're having a spiritual awakening this month, it might throw a little bit of a wrench in your practical plans, but it's going to bring you a lot of emotional peace. Right now you're kind of in this four of cups res reverse, like resisting, acknowledging this emotional watery energy where you're just kind of, in terms of your emotions, in order to like gain this financial abundance security, like you've kind of had to put them on the wayside and in terms of your relationships this month, your connections, your relationship with yourself and, and your intuition um, and your spirituality and your friends, all of that, like you're going to have this moment where you've been resisting, 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 like potentially very unconsciously. And then boom, something happens like, I don't want to say a death, but maybe two of wands, like, yeah, you have the death, the two of wands and the tower. It's like something comes to an end unexpectedly and everything you have, everything you've worked for, it's still there. It's still present. But whatever this ending, this unexpected ending is, it makes you see this world in your hands like, like, damn, is it worth it? Was it worth it? The, um, the guy here is a master at what he's done. He's created all of this, like, abundance. You have the three of ones here. He's waiting for it to come in. I don't know. It's almost like. Like if it would be like if the products you were waiting on in your career didn't come through, that's it, it would be like if they just got lost at sea and you had to get some percentage back through like shipping insurance or something. And then you're like, ah, like, no, um, that's. Five of Swords is reverse Seven of Cups. Hold on a second. Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, so this Page of Swords person over here who you might be doing business with in your career area. It's okay, so your product comes in or it is sold or whatever but they end up like taking it and either saying something to other people who know you about like don't buy this person's stuff or they end up like selling it for cheaper to other people or something they're profiting off of it i don't i don't know what this is but it makes you like realize that for one like it makes you realize that you need to do something differently in your business you are a master at what you do and somebody's maybe trying to like copy you or just change your ideas a little bit like maybe just with the page of swords reverse maybe trying to glean some sort of knowledge from you about how you do your craft and then they go and they turn around and they do it like more cheaply and less effectively and they end up like making more from the way they do it like because they they take the the easy route 
And this might totally piss you off. Yeah. You're like, well, why have I been, you know, working so hard to do this beautiful, masterful thing? And like this person goes and gets rewarded and like takes all my clients or something. Um, but it, but it changes for you in the emotional space, what you prioritize. And that's at least the blessing of this circumstance. Okay. Interesting. What is the spiritual section of Libras? Oh my God. 33, 30, 33 on the timer. Okay. Spirit and advice. Oh, four of wands, six of wands. Hell yeah. So four of wands is celebration, marriage, um, parties, connection, beauty, and just blessings. The gateway. And then the six of wands is victory, just victory. So that's cool. The ten of wands, the nine of wands. Okay. Ten of cups, nine of cups reversed. Awesome. Okay. Queen of cups reversed and temperance reversed. Sorry. The lovers reverse. Okay. This is interesting. All right. What? What is this? The ace of swords reverse? I want to know what this is. We'll figure it out. Okay. So spiritually and in your advice, um, in order to have victory here and celebrate and beauty and have fun, there's a certain burden that is being carried. Um, and it has to do with like you admitting um, to yourself, like the things you've been through, how much pain you've like sort of experienced at the heart of, of this process. And then nine of cups reverse 10 of cups, like what you're admitting to yourself, nine, nine, 10, 10. Look at how these reflect each other here. And you have cups and wands. That's so interesting. Fire and water. And then you have more cups like fire and water. Whoa. Um, you might have fire and water in your chart, or you might have a person in your life who acts like fire and water, but you're sort of achieving some sort of transmutation of duality or something here into like a, a single understanding, like a flow. Um, what I'm seeing with the nine of wands is you're like, I can do this alone but maybe I don't want to, maybe emotionally, that's not where I'm at. And then you have the 10 of cups. You're like, yeah, that actually seems nice. The 10 of cups. Actually, maybe I do want that. Maybe I do want connection. Maybe I do want to, um, open my emotional space to other people. <sighs> Ace of swords reverse, queen of cups reverse, temperance reverse, the lovers reverse. I don't know what this is. I feel like it could be that somebody um, lied to you, that they, like you were hurt uh, at some point from somebody who acted like compassionate and kind, and they were really just kind of like self-interested. Um, and over the top, and like they weren't actually interested in a love connection, it was like lust, right? The lovers reversed. Um, what is this? The nine of cups upright. The star. Four of pentacles reverse. Five of pentacles. I'm just going to cover it. Oh my God. And the four of wands. Okay. I was like, I'm just going to cover this up with the next card and see what it is. Um, four, four, four. You might be dealing with a Gemini because they had some similar like number synchronicities coming through um <laughs> the nine of cups i don't know it's like there's some amount of emotional self-satisfaction that you're achieving this month libra especially over any issues of like self-worth or being abandoned anything like that um or not feeling like you're good enough you might not feel like you're good enough for somebody or something 
and you're overcoming that this month. The star, the four of wands twice with victory, four of pentacles reversed. You're overcoming any insecurities. You have what you need. You have everything. You're enough. Um, I feel like this is really going to open your heart space to connections and allow you to give even just your winning personality. Like, yeah, if there's any concern about whether or not you like have enough, I was hearing somebody today talk about like, if you don't have enough money, you shouldn't be out there dating. Um, this is you being like, but this person is awesome. Six and four, um, 10, 10, 10. Okay. Completion, completion, completion. Um, I don't know. This is, this is you just, you're facing that, that myth and that that's bullshit. I, I've just got to say like, that's bullshit that anybody would think like, Oh, you can't fall in love. If you don't have money. I'm sorry, but I don't ascribe to that. I, I fucking think that's crazy. Like that's, we are worth more than what we have in the bank. And if, if somebody doesn't ascribe to that idea, you know, that's, that's called being shallow. Um, and so I'm not saying you're shallow, but I'm saying any like internalized lies about what it means to love and be loved around that sort of sense of your money equaling your worth is being overcome. And of course, financial health is important um, in maintaining relationships. I have this complete understanding that you're able to to recover whatever financial setbacks you've dealt with. But however you are financially, whether it's great or whether it's, you know, struggling, like this is no longer going to come between you and your connections with others and you and your connection with your own self-worth. Cool. Woo. That was a crazy one. That was a long one. And I feel like the message was pretty simple at the end, but I feel like your way of getting there this month is like, because there's definitely resistance. Um, and again, this, whatever it is, this subconscious thing, it comes up like, like that lobster, like, um, kind of out of nowhere. And you might be a little bit, a little bit pissed off in the middle of the month, but only for a moment. Okay. I'm going to pull one universal truth card for you. I feel like this is going to be a good month for you and any sticky situations you're going to get through and it's going to be, um, primarily in the emotional space. So don't worry about your finances. They're looking good. And your energy is too. Your mind and your emotions are going to just, they're going to receive some, some overhaul in a good way this month. <laughs> Money. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Sadly, money is the one common denominator that divides us all. Presently, it holds the vibration of fear, corruption, and greed. Therefore, it is our responsibility to convert this vibration from a vice to a virtue. There is such an imbalance. Money without love is worthless to the soul, and love without money is a real burden to the heart. Money was and is intended to be the vehicle to end all injustices and suffering. For this to transpire, we need to change the quote unquote me. To the we and the greed to the need the energy of money being the root of all evil must be transmuted into money being the crown of all that is good this is not a dream wake up and realize that this is our collective human destiny money has little value to the one who has it unless it also has value to all you might be meeting somebody this month libra who doesn't give a shit about money <laughs> <laughs> and and um it could cause this weird disconnect i don't know there's somebody who lives in a way that is completely opposite to the way you live and i feel like the two of you have a lot to learn from each other whether it's in business or in friendship or whatever um i'm amazed that this came out at the end of this this reading i shouldn't be it's tarot and this happens all the time but um that was really incredible. Anyway, if, if this resonated, wow, like, comment, share, subscribe, and um, let me know as June transpires, maybe come back and just write down a comment. Um, 
see how it resonated. So thank you for being here. I love y'all. I'll see you next week.